There is no denying this conviction that the place on planet Earth is limited. And due to the burgeoning population, farming has become challenging because of a supply and demand mismatch. Hence, higher authorities must make informed choices to revolutionize agriculture. The land available for cultivation is declining. On the contrary, the population is increasing. The agriculture sector needs to take revolutionary steps to increase the output for the growing population. One viable solution is vertical farming, which only requires a little land. Vertical farming offers a plethora of benefits. The most prominent is space efficiency. In this practice, the cultivation is in the form of stacked layers that go upwards vertically. So, this scenario enables higher crop yields by utilizing minimal spaces. Vertical farming provides umpteen benefits as compared to conventional farming. The significant advantage is year-round crop production because vertical agriculture helps maintain an indoor environment that doesn't pivot around external weather conditions.
The overall output of agriculture increases considerably through modern practices. Another benefit is less water usage. And to do so, people engaged in vertical farming usually employ hydroponics or aeroponics, which require less water compared to conventional soil-based agriculture. Vertical farming contributes to water conservation. So we save water, which is a precious resource. Another notable benefit is limited environmental impact, as vertical farming doesn't require significant land expanses and minimum transportation distance. Vertical farming leads to a lower carbon footprint, and there is a substantial decline in pollution, and the habitat of wild animals does not go for a toss. So it is a blessing for the current generation and the posterity. Modern farming techniques offer optimized usage of resources because, for a person engaged in this form of agriculture, it is easy to control factors such as sunlight, temperature, and vital nutrients, so there is less wastage of resources, and the plants get a suitable environment for growth.
With the growth of the internet, various platforms providing video content started at the dawn of the millennium, and many motivational speakers started providing content on them to inspire people to lead their lives and careers towards an impressive work trajectory. A large section of society listens to pep talk speakers for daily motivation. However, the research has proved that listening to motivational speakers is not a worthwhile proposition. And there are many reasons for that. The advice the pep talk speakers provide is generic, and it doesn't offer solutions for individual circumstances or challenges. Moreover, the formula provided by most of them is a one-size-fits-all approach, which means there is no customization, and a single strategy is offered to all the listeners to bring a paradigm shift in their lives. The viewer's inspiration from motivational speeches is also often short-term. They get an ego massage, which remains for a certain period. And after that, when they get on to their respective works, their motivation goes for a toss.
Most motivational speakers overemphasize positivity by saying that having an optimistic attitude is more important to dealing with situations. They state that having a positive attitude helps to handle conflicts adroitly. Hence, it leads to comprehensive development. We must think of positive and negative scenarios while making informed decisions. Believing in positivity can divert you to make wrong choices. Sometimes, negative scenarios also require enough consideration to arrive at informed decisions. A point worth mentioning is the need for more substance. A piece of generic advice needs to provide a roadmap for holistic development. So, there needs to be more actionable steps. With proper advice, there are chances of following the right trajectory. Thriving primarily on external motivation is not worthwhile because internal motivation and self-discipline are the keys to success. One should seek flashes of inspiration from previous experiences to make arguments for future triumphs.
Just listening to and not acting on motivational advice is not beneficial because every worthwhile activity demands execution. Merely listening to motivational speeches just provides us with ego massaging. However, the critical issues at our disposal remain the same. Driving in fog could be dangerous due to poor visibility. The best way to remain safe is to follow the lane and not divert here and there. Apart from this, drive at a slow speed and maintain a safe distance from the vehicle moving ahead of you. The best time to visit North India is from October to March. As during these months, the weather is good because the temperature remains moderate except for a few days of harsh winters. On the contrary, the summers experience scorching heat, and moving from one place to another becomes daunting. Learning a musical instrument works like a charm because it develops a personality trait in us. Called patience. Playing a piece of music requires using various body organs in synchronization. Hence, we make more use of our energy. And the serenity of the sounds we play soothes our minds. <laughs> 